for the check. Five, six. Zero cans. Another poor start to this game from Corder, who played a similar, made a similar start in the game he lost, the eighth game, the first service he was broken. Zero so Korea is presented with three set points here. With check frailty. I think perhaps he deserved just a little bit of luck. Let's have a look at this one again. Can't it's a gone. beautiful flashing backhand, which might have caught a lesser man unexpected, and Courier does awfully well to keep it that low. And Corder knows he's been just a little bit lucky that the ball should have dropped dead off the top of the net. But there is a lovely backhand. You could have put that in any coaching manual. But he's an engaging fellow, this. Still facing two set points. And we'll pick up on that match a little bit later, but at edge. Mark Cox and John Barrett. First time he's been seeded number one at a Grand Slam Championship, Korea. He became the number one when he won in Australia in January. Or rather, uh, excuse me. Becker, who became the number one for the year before when he won in Australia, he became the number one courier when he won in San Francisco, uh, got to the semi final in San Francisco shortly after his victory at the Australian Open. He lost it and then regained it. So a lovely day now for tennis, nice and warm, hardly a breath of breeze, but rather more humid than it's been. Oh. 
40-30. Miss hits the ball quite a lot, actually, does Corder, I'm afraid, because he, he's a fairly wristy player. And a good serve from Korea, securing the opening game in the second set. I must say he is such a solid citizen, isn't he? And what a delight to have such a charming fellow at the head of affairs, number one in the world. Yes, I agree, uh, John. He seems to be so balanced about uh, the game. You were making a reference to him being number one, and of course there is a different pressure, isn't there, when you're competing with the, man the mantle of being the best player in the, in the world. And, of course, he's very pragmatic about the whole thing. He says, well, of course, this is just numbers. It's, uh, it's another tennis match, and I've just got to go out there and do the business. Prepare well, prepare for it professionally. And then if the other player is too good, that's so be it. But I'm going to give everything that I've got to win. And really, this match has been about his consistency. The, uh, his opponent has been the far more flamboyant. He's played the more spectacular shots but he's also played those few errors at the wrong time from his point of view. After beating Agassi in the semi-final, this man went out, would you believe it, for a run with his coach, Jose Higueras. Would have been Brad Stein, but Brad had injured a leg. <laughs> in practice, so he couldn't join him. Oh -ho! Well, Korea here playing a little drop shot, which Corder read. And it wasn't really short enough, but how well he anticipated their Korea. Moved like a cat on the net. My goodness, that was a world-class shot, that... Flicked lob at full stretch. Have a look at this now. He has to reach and he manages a top spin lob to a perfect length. So the break point saved with his third ace. is fourth. Oh. 
égalité. <rire> a frustrating mixture of brilliance and ineptitude, Mr. Corder. Frustrating for his coaches. Vladimir Zednik's been his coach since February last year. Avantage pour la. Avantage oh. oh. Longest game of the match, this. Reduces. But I don't think we were going to expect a long match with the way these fellows slobber the ball. One of those typically fierce ball yeah. from Korea. Avantage well, he comes into the net behind this serve, Corder, but let's watch Korea. He's inside the baseline, how well he bends and really puts his whole body into that two-handed backhand. Asking an awful get, get, lot, get. of course, on a slow clay court to win as a serving volleyer, particularly with the rackets that the fellows all use today, made of graphite and projecting the ball so much faster than the old wooden ones did. Budge Patty won here in 1950, oh. serving and volleying, and so did a series of Australians, Rod Laver, Roy Emerson, and so on. <laughs> but I wonder if they would today against the sort of blasting returns that Courier and his baseline friends generate. 